Welcome back to Dummy Boy Finance. I'm Dummy Boy, and it's been a really long time since I've made any sort of content related to stocks. Y'all probably read the thumbnail and are completely shocked, but let me talk to y'all for a second and tell you why I did what I did. So you guys know I've been invested into Humble for a very long time. This was that innovative play that was going to be the gem in this decade. This was going to be a play that reminded me of an Amazon, like a Google, the type of innovation at the current point in time that we are today. I thought that blockchain was going to be the next big thing that the crypto world was going to need a more secure platform like a blockchain and everything that Brian Foot was doing with Humble was showing very good signs of improvement and growth and overall a great startup story and so with Humble everything was there for this to be the most promising stock pick that I personally have ever made but we got to talk about what happened here with Humble sometimes it's not easy you make a decision a calculated decision to buy a certain stock based on assumptions that this company is going to progress it's going to do things that you want it to do at the end of the day the ceo follows through with everything that he talks about and so i hate to inform all of you humble shareholders that have been here from the start april fools obviously i didn't sell any shares of humble in fact i actually bought more shares of humble so those of you who read this thumbnail and disliked this video already and probably left this video that is a joke it is april fools today so i thought why not come back with a bit of spice obviously i'm not selling humble that would be the dumbest thing to do humble is at a bottom there is no reason that i would want to sell this stock there's no reason that i would want to do anything but accumulate this play so the biggest piece of news that came out while i was away was that humble announced a project search three so let's just kind of rewind a bit go back to when the internet started and when we had a google search engine or any sort of search engine people didn't really know what it meant we were able to access information on a database it was something that was uncommon unheard of and so now when we look at project search three this is going to be a search engine on the blockchain kind of like what the internet was when it started and so why is this more valuable than an internet search well with an internet browser or a search engine when you search something a lot of different information comes up there's a lot of false information there's some real information if you search any symptoms of any sort of problem even the slightest cough you get the scariest things that pop up on google first and so the way that the information has now started to saturate on the internet we need a platform that's a little bit more secure a little bit more validated and the information that comes on this blockchain should be verifiable and with that being said that will result in the production of a search three one of the first modular blockchain based web3 search engines and so obviously with any new phenomenon in the world that people don't know and is very uncommon is not regulated there are going to be challenges and here there is going to be a challenge building a decentralized web3 that is still easily discoverable well organized and verifiable on blockchain for users i think the verifiable is going to be the biggest part if humble is able to succeed in that concept then this is groundbreaking for this company and so what would this search three look like we would view it as a simple discovery layer that provides verifiable blocks of information on top of web 3 in addition to delivering traditional web 2 search functionality such as web videos images and news which is the internet Search3 will also deliver cross-chain NFT search functionality across blockchain projects such as ETH, Solano, etc, etc. And so now this is huge. It is very difficult to find information about any crypto, NFTs. People are still extremely confused about how NFTs work, how crypto works. If Humble is able to create this Search3 that allows individuals to navigate projects, navigate any sort of crypto, NFTs, however they want, easy accessible and verifiable this is going to be massive because this is going to allow a lot more people now to access information on crypto blockchain etc and they're all going to be using a humble based service and so this may not seem big at the beginning because the revenue isn't going to be something that's going to be eye popping at first but it's the fact of how many users will most likely have to use this search three because if you're able to do your typical web two searches you're able to search stuff 
on this service in addition to having that crypto that blockchain that nft space people still may not understand why this is going to be such a powerful tool right now we are still at the infancy phases and stages of cryptocurrency blockchain nfts this digital world is extremely new and we don't have much ways to access it web 2 is starting to get saturated there's all kinds of false information out there and there's an abundance of nonsense on the internet if now we can get a platform that not only does what web 2 does gives you a search engine but on top of that gives you access to information that relates to blockchain, to cryptocurrencies, to NFT projects, makes it easier for users to navigate, find information on such projects that not only is going to increase the amount of eyes on the digital world, but as more and more people start to understand and as digital currency starts to come to the forefront of topics, then people will have to use this platform to access information while more users access this that is going to lead to a lot more potentials and revenue whether it's ad revenue or other platforms they decide to create and so this news for me was huge i like all the divisions that are in humble but this might just be my favorite if this comes to fruition and this actually gets executed the way i expect it to this is going to be a game changer for this company and this is going to make it a massive massive company company as the years progress but with that being said now we have to look at our charts it's been a very long time since i've looked at the humble chart so let's go here now to our chart and if i get this out here we are looking at humble here on the weekly time frame reason why i wanted to look at this on the weekly is i wanted to see our rsi you can see our rsi for the last couple weeks has been oversold and so this right here is a great signal that we are close to bottoming this is also a great time to enter a position if you're able to buy stocks that are oversold on a weekly time frame that are great growth companies these are very good times to enter plays there's a lot less downside risk and there's a lot more upside return if you were to buy a play on an rsi that's under 30 if you look at our macd you can see our macd is starting to curl up over here so this right now isn't the biggest thing i just like to see this because this shows that we are starting to get to points where people aren't going to be selling their shares this is going to be an accumulation time and that's exactly what i can continue to do and that's clearly what people are starting to do as well so right now we're looking at humble here on the daily time frame i have this descending rectangle right here the reason why i have this here is because it has shown levels of support as well as resistance you can see right here we've had some resistance we've had some support we've had some resistance here but then we eventually broke back into this channel and currently we are right in it and so as long as we're in this channel we are looking for another bounce along this level of support there is no sign yet that we are getting a reversal what we want to see is the price action above our green line if we can get above this green line that will start to ignite some bullish momentum and at that point if we can get some people to buy that will cause a lot more buying pressure which could lead to the reversal of humble but since we are still below this green line we are still at a point where we are not in a uptrend Trend. we are still in a downtrend and at these points in times are great times to accumulate if you are a long-term holder if you're looking for a swing play on this stock i would wait till you get above the green but i'm a long-term holder on this and i continue to buy low and accumulate and so this is my current position right here and at these levels i will continue to buy and i'll continue to lower my average cost because i want to hold this stock for a very long time and i believe that this stock has a ton of potential moving forward and so i don't want to make this video too long this was an april fool's joke i hope that this doesn't make some of you guys mad i did not sell my humble shares in fact i actually added a lot more shares and i will continue to add more shares it feels weird making a video right now it's been so long since i've made one one. If you guys enjoyed this update on Humble, don't forget to like. We are on the road to 10k subs, so if you made it to this point, feel free to hit that subscription button. This is Dummy Boy Finance. I'm Dummy Boy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.